Hello, welcome to Tea and Comics. This is just another pickups video of what I grabbed this week. Pretty light week again. Um, just chilling here. I just finished a cup of Earl Grey Vanilla, we're almost done here, in the Thor mug. Just hanging out with my dog. He's just chilling out here in, in the office with me. Um, all right, so what I grabbed this week? I grabbed Captain America as uh, issue 696. This is the second issue in the Mark Wade Chris Samney um, run. I liked the first one. It was it was good. Um, it didn't hook me as much as the Daredevil run that they did or the Mark Wade Daredevil run. Chris Samney came in later, but I like that series quite a bit from the start. This one um, was pretty good first issue. The second issue was also pretty fun. That's the way to describe it, I guess. Is um, it, it seems like both issues now, he's, Cap has had an adventure in like a different town. Like He's on the road, and he's kind of in these small towns. And, and uh, yeah, so each both issues are a little disconnected from each other, which is fine. This issue was... Kind of just him fighting the swordsman. And it's fairly self-contained issue. Um, Chris Somney's art looks pretty great. It's like that style of... It's like he's got like a style that looks kind of old school, but... Um, it's really clean. Everything pops, especially with the colors. It looks good. I, I, I really like his art style. It's... A big reason why I bought this book. One thing that I noticed, which was kind of weird, was that Marvel has changed their paper stock. Here's it, this first issue in the run, uh, Home of the Brave Part One. Um, and actually, I like this because the way that they've the change that they've made. The Marvel Comics, I always recently anyway. I don't know when this started, but the paper is. The ink on the paper feels like it's it's not glossy, so it's it feels like, and I've had this happen is where you can get like the ink to smudge off or your fingerprint if it's like kind of humid, your fingerprints and stuff will end up in on the cover. Um, so yeah, I never really liked Marvel Comics for that reason, like just actual physical books. Um, but they've changed that with this issue. It's actually like a glossier paper, the cover and. The pages and I I do like that I just feel like I'm not gonna ruin the book just by holding it in my hands so Captain America um, 696 I'll probably keep buying this I, I wasn't I'm not in love with this series but it was it was a pretty fun book at the end of the day so I'm gonna keep going with it we'll see where it goes this book on the other hand was phenomenal um, this is Batman, White Knight. Uh, this is issue three of eight. Like this book. The story is really interesting. Um, it's just like a twist on kind of the Batman story. I mean, it's it's kind of like a logical place for the Batman story to get. Um, but it's not just a story. It's the art. The Sean Gordon Murphy... Like, there's so much detail on every page and like the pacing of this book is excellent, but it take, it took me forever to read this cause I was just, I would stop and just stare at every little detail. He's just knocking it out of the park, like everything, like this whole scene, there's just so much happening, but it doesn't like make you feel like the book drags on. Like there's a ton happening in this scene, but it just immediately kind of drags your attention, you know? through the page and then you kind of move on and then you realize, wait, like I want to go back and look at this. And so I'm going to show you one more page that I really loved. And then I'm going to stop flipping because I don't want to, there is like a few spoilers. So um, I just want to show you in the bat cave, he drew like every Batmobile. It's amazing. This is like the Batmobile from this book. It looks like the animated series, the Christopher Nolan movies, it looks like the sixties series. Um, Batman returns. I don't remember. These are like the movie um, with uh, 
the 80s movies and the 90s movies, Batman, Batmobiles. Like he drew every single one and he drew some bikes and there's the dinosaur and the coin. And then and that's not even like this is one long page. That's not even done. You still have Barbara here on the back computer and all the detail in there. It's crazy. Like it's so good. I just, it took me forever to read this, but not because the pacing is bad. The pacing is great. Um, I just had to flip back. And oh yeah, Super Sons ad for Super Sons of Tomorrow. I'm digging my Super Sons. I might have to check out this little mini event. Uh, uh, anyway, so this issue is great. I'm not going to flip anymore because there is like a few things that can be spoiled. Check this out. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's my favorite book right now. It's like the only book that I'm actually like really excited about each week uh, or each month. Um, something else interesting. It's kind of weird that the two books I picked up had like a paper quality change, but this is issue two. And I, I noticed this like right away in the stories. Issue one and two have like a pretty heavy cardstock cover. Issue three also has like a cardstock cover. Like the cover is like a cardstock compared to the pages. But it's significantly like it feels different. And I thought it was just going crazy. Like I picked it up in the store and I was like, this feels lighter or something compared to these ones. And it's really hard to tell on camera probably, but I. I gave it to my partner who doesn't really read comics. I was just like, here, can you, is there a difference between these two books? And immediately she was, immediately she was like, this one is floppier. And so, and it's actually like a little skinnier too. Like the, it's really hard to tell, but I, I don't know. It's one of those like comic book OCD thing, OCD things where like, it shouldn't bother you. And it doesn't take away from the book at all. It's just like, you're just kind of bothered for some reason that it's not the same. You just, you need like that similarity anyway, but regardless this series, Batman white Knight by Sean Gordon Murphy. Um, it's great. And the last thing I grabbed this week is I got this from my comic shop. They, in my other videos, I've talked about heroes comics in London, Ontario, and how they often have books like trades, hardcovers, that are half price on the American price. Um, so normally we have to pay you know, the Canadian price on these books, which would be $28. Here comes my dog back into the room here. Hey, buddy. Hi. Okay. Okay. Um, so normally I have to be 28 bucks uh, and then tax on top of that, where US price is 25 but they often do this book. It's still wrapped. I mean, the it's the wrapping's damaged, but it's still in its uh, plastic. And I got it for like 12 bucks. So it's like half the American price. Um, and it's like after tax. The reason I got this, this is Captain America, The Iron Nail. This is Rick Remender. This is the fourth, um, the fourth book in Remender's run. I got this in a previous video I talked about buying... Um, the first two volumes of this for a friend's wife um, were going to Korea for Christmas. And, and she was, when she was here, she uh, read a bunch of comics. She, she loves Captain America, but does, hasn't read a lot of comics. And so we bought her the first two volumes. I, f I bought the third volume uh, online because I was going to bring that to her. And then I saw this for half price and I was like, well, oh, perfect. I'll give her this as well. So um, that was the last book on my pickups this week. And that's it for that. Um, I've been meaning to do other types of videos, but I just haven't had the time. I'm trying to finish up some stuff for school and it's just been taking up a lot of my time. So uh, hopefully once my semester's over and we get back from Korea, I can pump out a few videos of like what I'm reading and uh, I want to do a video about comic book advertising and stuff like that. So um, that's my plans. I'll probably end up doing a pickup video next week and then I'll be gone to Korea. Um, that's, yeah, that's kind of it for me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at these pickups with me and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.